So once the battery is out, uh, the battery box will just pull out um, and then the next step will be to remove the actual battery tray. So there are four bolts, 12 mil. There's also a 10 mil bolt right here that holds this little clip on to the side of the battery tray. We're going to remove that not only to take the battery tray out but also so we can move these harnesses and lines around freely so they're not going to be in our way too much when we start actually taking out the starter motor. With those five fasteners undone, the next step is to remove the coolant reservoir. So with the battery tray removed, the next step is to take out this fastener, uh, this one's 10 mil, and it is holding this bracket that holds the lower coolant hose in place. Um, I'm not sure why I started undoing this fastener before I popped the hose out of that bracket there, that would have made it easier, but for whatever reason I did it this way. So the next thing to do is to undo the power connections. Now the main connection on manual starter motors is right here on the top. It's a 12 mil nut. There's just the little boot that you pull off and then you just uh, basically go like this to undo it. Now on automatic transmissions this uh, nut, this connection is on the back. It points out towards the passenger side of the vehicle. The second connector to undo is just a plug on the back uh, that just pops out. That's what I'm doing right here. Okay, so connections are all undone and the rad hose support is disconnected. So it's time to tackle those starter bolts. So we'll do the top one first, that's the easy one. If you haven't noticed by now, I really love this ratcheting box end wrench set I bought. Uh, it has a swivel head and extra long handle, and I can't tell you the amount of jams these things have gotten me out of. They're so narrow, they, you can fit them in so many places that you just can't fit your regular socket. And the extra long handle gives you a lot of torque, so breaking stuck bolts is really easy with these. So the bottom bolt, I can't even really get a camera footage of it but it's basically just under there and you'll have to just put your uh, hand under there and feel for it. That one is uh, 18 mil and this is the setup that I used uh, to get at it. Um, you'll need a bit of an extension. This short extension paired with a deep socket is enough um, that you can you can get in there. So you're going to have to slip that socket onto the lower starter bolt by feel. You really can't see it. Once I had it on, I realized that my short little socket wrench here is not going to give me enough torque to get that bolt unstuck. Now you could either use a breaker bar or uh, just a longer handled socket if you have one, but I did not have either of those things available. What I did have was this metal pipe thing, which you can see me slide over the handle here, and that gave me just enough leverage to get that bolt unstuck. So here's my replacement starter motor and you can see this is obviously not a new one. 
But in fact, I off camera took this starter motor out of my other CL. Yes, that's right, I have two manual transmission CLs, uh, but this blue one is a parts car, but the starter motor in it still works perfect. So I am taking that one out and putting it into this one, and that's cool, because that means I don't have to buy a starter motor. So in my opinion, the easiest way to go about installing your replacement starter motor is start with the longer bolt, the bottom 18 mil bolt, uh, already fed through the lower hole in the starter motor. And then as you line everything up and insert the starter into the transmission case, there. Um, you can just start threading in that lower bolt by hand and get it in just far enough to kind of hold the starter in place and then you can come back in and thread in the top bolt. So with the top bolt tight we got to feel that socket back onto the bottom bolt again. So you get the idea from here, we're just rehooking up all the connections and reinstalling everything. Then it's just going to be time for the moment of truth. Will she start? <laughs> 